Um, I, I think this is a little... There's something wrong with this situation right here. But I feel like it's working pretty well. Yeah, he's harvested the body. Okay. What is up, guys? Me like here. And today we are back in action playing some Ark Scorched Earth. And uh, it's going to be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And help me out tremendously. So, forewarning, I am running on like zero amounts of sleep right now. I'm trying to slowly rotate my sleeping schedule, which is why... Uh, the videos have been going out late. It's because I have uh, been, like, that's when I finish the videos. Whenever the videos go out, that's when I finish them. So uh, that's that's why the videos have been going out late, because I've been waking, waking up late because my sleeping schedule is currently screwed at the moment. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about that. Now, as you guys know, if you paid attention to the comments of last video, uh, I have been invited to Pooping Evolved, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do about it. Um, I think what I am going to do, though, is I, um, I think I'm going to play on the Scorched Earth Pooping Evolved slash Vanilla, kind of like the Scorched Earth slash Vanilla, whatever that is. And then I think I'm going to do my own modded thing with Riot and the other guys and kind of continue that. Now, what that means is this series, we were already planning on ending the series decently soon. Um, within the next couple of episodes or whatever, uh, we're gonna fight the Manticore and that kind of stuff. And then I'll start like a full-fledged, I guess, long series on Pooping Evolved. I'm not sure with, uh, and we'll try to do some more cool stuff on that. Now the thing is, is we'll, I'll be kind of like doing some of the same stuff, but I'm gonna try to do it in a different way. So hopefully, uh, you guys are all right with that. And if you have any comments or suggestions, then post down below. Now I think what we're gonna do is, I kind of want to tame a T-Rex. And the reason I want to tame a T-Rex is me, Riot, and Anthony. And German are going to fight the Manticore soon and I was thinking they're probably going to be at least Riot and Anthony are probably going to be on dragons and apparently I can't take golems there's nothing in the wiki that says anything that you can't take golems but apparently according to everyone you can't take golems also according to people we need more than 10 of every talent which I don't think is true actually I've had like three people say that and I don't think it's true because according to the wiki and then I think we even checked you only need need 10 of each talent any one of every artifact so I think the people that are telling me that either have have never tried it themselves and are like getting their information from someone else or uh, they're just straight up lying or the wiki has misinformation and they're telling me the truth so those are the I guess the three possibilities I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, some people are sad because I haven't been riding around on the wyverns. Uh, we can ride a little bit on the wyverns today. I think I might actually ride. No, no, because we need to knock out a T-Rex. And the best way to knock out a T-Rex is we, we'll, we'll try to, like, maybe go kill some stuff with Zeus today. Zeus is pretty low level. He's, like, the lowest level of all the uh, the dragons here. But I've, I've leveled up a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're going to go try to find a T-Rex. I'm going to do that real quick, uh, quick, and I'll be right back. So, apparently, they're bringing the tape of jar. Like, I was just on Twitter and they're bringing the Tape Jar and the Archaeopteryx to um, uh, Scorched Earth. They just gotta, like, they're trying to do a few things before they do that, though. Uh, so it's kind of cool that they're actually adding in, I guess, vanilla content or vanilla updates into Scorched Earth, which I always expected them to do that, anyways. And then I feel like the Tape Jar and the Archaeopteryx uh, kind of both belong in Scorched Earth, Earth anyways. And I kind of want to mess with them because I have no way to mess with them currently because uh, the modded, our modded won't have them. Um, and. This guy doesn't have them, so we really have nothing at the moment where we can, like, go and tame them. So it's going to be awesome if they do add them to Scorched Earth. So I'm excited about kind of, like, playing with those guys, taming them, and uh, just, just generally having a good time with them. I'm still running around. I'm still trying to find a T-Rex. Seriously, like, where are the Rexes at? I've been searching around for an hour now, and I haven't seen a single freaking Rex. Um... I could be looking in the wrong areas. I feel like my brain is not functioning very well at the moment with the lack of sleep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jump off. Yes. Okay. Uh, at least I remembered how to do that. So, uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, also, one thing I want to mention to you guys is my first episode of Pooping Evolved. I'm going to be recording tomorrow, and uh, me and Slip. Slip is actually the one that invited me or whatever. He had me on Skype and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but he, we're going to be doing an intro tomorrow, and that should be pretty sweet. So I guess my first video will be with Slip. Uh, I think we're just going to do an intro, though, because I didn't really have anything super special planned. Uh, and I'm not sure when I'm going to be releasing that video, as I kind of want to finish this series first uh, before we do that. But yeah, that, that'll that be cool or whatever. If you guys didn't know, I've actually known Slip for a very, very, very long time since... Uh, since before he joined Hermitcraft, actually. I just haven't done any videos with him, and I haven't actually talked to him in a very long time. So, um, it'll be kind of cool to be able to, I guess, do some videos with DMAC, uh, Zul'jin. And actually, it's kind of cool because I'll be doing series on both, uh, both like, or two different things, right? So, I'll be able to do, continue doing videos with Riot 
and uh, Anthony and German, who are like my really good friends, and then I'll be able to actually do videos with DMac uh, and Zulgin and all that kind of stuff. People I've talked to in the past, but I haven't really done you know like much work in collaboration with. Um, so yeah, that should be pretty awesome. Also, I'm on the lookout while I'm trying to find stupid T-Rexes. I'm also on the lookout for vultures because a few of you guys have been wanting me to tame a vulture. So we're going to try to do that. And I kind of want to test out the vulture's super special ability, which is turning me into rotten flesh. So that's going to be a goal. I've never actually tried it. I've never played with Riot's vulture, so I'm not sure exactly how that works, but, uh, we're going to give that a try. Actually, this is very good that we found some water right here. Uh, but I'm going to continue looking around. I'm probably just going to continue, I guess, coming back every five minutes and explaining something new that I just remembered. Um, <laughs> get him, Mantis. Get him, you big jerk. Okay, there we go. We got him. I think we've done it, boys. Well, we haven't found a T-Rex, but look at this beautiful bastard right here. Wait a sec. Where are you? Is, are you it? Are you the one? There's like 17 vultures around here. Hopefully, you're the one. Are you the one? Yes, you're the one. Holy mother of God. Look at that level right there. Um, so level 117 vulture. This is going to be a beautiful thing right here, assuming we can tame it. Actually, you know what? I didn't even look at what this guy needs to be tamed. Okay. What? Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. You know, I didn't. I didn't fully think this through. Uh, not 100%. Um. Okay. You know, I mean, yeah, totally didn't th think this uh, through. But you know, I think it's going to be fine. Oh my god. Can you knock these guys out with uh? With Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you can. He's running away. He's running. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. We got a second one after us. Okay, he's down. He's down. He's down. What's up, man? What's up, bro? You think... Actually, you want you want some of my... Actually, no. You want some of my... my fl no, no, no. My flamethrower. Come, come here. Yep, flamethrower. Okay, I have to reload it. Get out of here, man. Yep, you're a bird. You're now on fire. You're completely dead. You know, I, I didn't even look up what this needs to be tamed. Let me look this up real quick. Okay, so he wants uh, spoiled meat, actually. Okay, so spoiled meat tains him. That's not that bad. No, 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 no. I don't know what happened, but I don't want you to do it. Okay, it looks like we have zero spo spoiled meat, which is very depressing, to be honest. I mean, that's, 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 that's... Oh, wait, no, 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 okay, we can kill other vultures. We can kill their brethren and get the spoiled we ne meat we need uh, to tame the vultures, which is sweet. Okay, I swear to God, I just saw, I just saw something, a shadow in the sky, and I thought it was cu coming down to, like, swoop down on us and murder us. Can, you know I'm a derp. Uh, you have to passive tame them. And it says a ghillie suit actually helps with the taming process. So, I hate myself right now. Um, we're gonna wait till this guy wakes up, I guess. I mean, I only shot it with four freaking bullets, so he should wake up pretty fast, I'm hoping. Okay, so he has woken up. Uh, I guess while he's like, we're trying to lose aggro. Actually, he, we've already lost aggro. Maybe we should check, uh, this purple drop right here. Yeah, let's check the purple drop. It should be beautiful. Anything suit? Oh, yeah, a tent. Of course, there's a freaking tent. You know, the most useful thing. Actually, speaking of useful things, I think last episode I found... Yeah, an apprentice... No, it wasn't last episode. It was after last episode. I found an apprentice whip, so that's kind of useful, I guess, possibly. Uh, is this the level, is this the high level one that we need? Is this the hero that we need? Oh. Oh. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I fed it to him. Okay, how much did you get? You got... Oh, yeah, you're about halfway, dude. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, we do have taming up quite a bit. I think it's on, like, 15, 10, so something. It's on something. I don't know. Are you... Oh, th there we go. We have a vulture. Nice. Okay, sweet. That was much easier than anticipated. You are level, uh, what level are you? I don't know what level you are. Let's uh, find out real quick. You're level 175. Holy crap, man. Good job. Good job for being tamed. 900 health, 500 stamina. Let's see, 2,500 food, 100 weight, 272% melee damage, and 100% movement speed. Um, let's go ahead and give you some meat. Yeah, follow me, buddy. Yep, follow me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Time for you to die. Yep, 87 meat. That should be plenty. Let's go ahead and land. We're going to throw you on the ground, buddy. Let's go ahead and go inside of your beautiful inventory here. Actually, we need to get the meat out of Deagle first. I was testing you guys to make sure that you remembered. Of course, um, I I al already knew that in the first place. Okay, so meat. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, okay, you're dead. Yep, you're dead. 
Okay, so how do we give him like the the super amazing meatness of of, of mate, amazing meatness here? Okay, so let's hold. No, okay. Okay, so apparently in quotation marks, I say this because I haven't tested it yet. Uh, the vulture can acquire meat from atop the player's shoulder and use put it in its second st uh, stomach, spoil it, regurgitate it, and then use it to eat. But, I mean, we have to retrieve it before before he eats the spoiled meat. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Okay, let's uh, let's kill this Paraceratherium right here. Hey, what's up, man? And then we're gonna go off hunting for a T-Rex if I can ever find one. I feel like the mythical T-Rex does not exist on this map ever at all. Like it just it's just not a thing that it actually exists in the real world. It's just a it's a legend, kind of like the Manticore. Except for obviously more rare than the Manticore. Because we oh, know how to actually find the Manticore. Okay, so. Okay, so. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I think this is a little there's something wrong with the situation right here, but I feel like it's working pretty well. Yeah, he's harvested the body. Okay. Okay. Let's throw him down. Yeah, what's up, you beautiful creature here? And then, okay, so he has a bunch of meat on him, right? And then I guess slowly over time he's going to regurg- Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Maybe, possibly. Or was that me? Yeah, okay, so did he just straight up give the meat to me? Or was that just my meat spoiling? I think that was just my meat, meat spoiling. Anyways, this guy should have like an extended meat spoiling time. I'm not exactly sure. Let's go ahead and just look at it real quick. Spoils in 44 minutes, okay? You know, I just don't understand. I, well, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out at some point. Let's go find a beautiful T-Rex. Let's just do that. Also, let's level this guy up to be like a murdering, murdering, killing spree of death. The vulture. Oh, super awesome, amazing red drop, guys. Now, can we get to it before it disappears? That is the real question because I feel like it's about to disappear. Okay, so yeah. Whoop, yep. Red drop. Hi. <laughs> What do we get? Let's take it real quick, real fast. Ramshack, really? We have like 47, oh my God. Oh my God, I apologize. I apologize, I apologize. Get on, oh my God, holy crap. Yeah, so we got a crap saddle. A, uh, did it, was that it? Yeah, we, it's just a thorny dragon saddle. Okay, not that impressive. Okay, so we have, we have finally tracked the elusive T-Rex back to its lair. If only we can survive its continual onslaught. Um, so yeah, we found the T-Rex. Uh, this one happens to be very high level. Uh, so we are going to... I found actually... Is he gonna... Is... Oh god. Oh god. Please. Why can't things just leave us alone? Please, just leave us alone. That's all I want is peace in my life right now. Okay, yep, yep. You know what? Just, just, uh, yep. yep. No, yep. Just do it. Just leave us. Yep, you're dead. Okay, that's what you get. That's what you get. Okay, so let's land. Uh, let's pull out the old, the old trusty uh, thingamabobber here, and then we are going to shoot him. And you, you, or you could run away. You know, that's that's perfectly all right as well. Um, I just just run away from a little teeny tiny arrows that are the size of your toenails. That's perfectly all right. You know, I mean, it isn't. You're only a T-Rex. Not. I'm not sure why I expected much out of. Okay. Okay. Okay, you know, I mean, I, I take back everything that I said. Obviously, I said some uh, harsh words that I regret uh, looking back on it right now. Um, and, of course, you are the master of everything that is good and holy in the world. And I, I severely, I mean, okay, okay. I mean, or you run away again. I guess they have advanced AI now where they can slowly take over the world. What's up, man? Uh, you know, I'm probably going to need a mantis because I feel like I do not have enough arrows, and I do not have enough uh, crossbow for this to work very effectively. So I'm probably going to need the mantis. I just need to remember where I am and how to get back here. But the mantis should make quick work of this wreck, so let's go do that. Oh, there's a green tower right there! Okay, we're actually really close to the base. So yeah, this isn't... Yeah, this is going to take long at all. Okay, sweet. Okay, so I think our elusive prey is down here. Hopefully the stupid saber tooth that it's fighting right now does not kill it because that would be absolutely horrible. Uh, okay, so it's fighting raptors. It's fighting all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, let's just go ahead. Let's uh, let's hit it a few times. Okay, let's, let's make sure. Let's make sure that we do not. Okay, so three hits. Four hits. Okay, let's run away a little bit. Five hits. Okay. Well, how's, how's this doing? Uh, oh my god, we're almost out of sight. 
Oh, no. Okay, so we got six hits on it, and then before our club actually broke. Um, its torpor should not go down that fast, I don't think. Okay, let's go and kill those guys. We want to make sure that we kill everything in the area. area. That way uh, we don't have to worry about anything attacking its stupid body while it's knocked out here. Okay, so let's kill the Sabertooth. Yes, 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 yes. Now, what do we need to actually repair this stupid club? Do we need any sort of special, like, benches or anything? Okay, you know, the, you know he's attacking me right now. Um, do, we, do we need anything? Does this need a smithy? No. It needs wood and fiber. We have that in spades. 100%. So we got fiber. Okay, let's just get wood. And I think we're going to be good, actually. Yeah, wood, and we should be good. Okay, so we have wood. Now we just need to find out where the T-Rex is. Where you be, T-Rex? Uh, please don't. For, please do not be dead. That would be the absolute worst if you were dead right now. Um, I don't see him. I do not see him. But anyways, okay, let's go ahead and repair this guy. Hopefully. Can we repair him? Yeah, we can. Okay, sweet. And then do we have any spare clubs inside of here? Because that would make this much easier. Okay, so let's do... Let's see, club? Yeah, we do. Okay, so we got a couple clubs. That's going to make this much, this whole process way easier. Repair item? Repair item. Let's go ahead and throw this guy right here. Okay, dude, seriously, get off here. Okay, let's find uh, the... Oh, let's find the T-Rex. Visibility is very low. A sandstorm has just rolled through. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna have to set up camp. I mean, luckily we found we actually found uh, the tent, which I was complaining that we found in that drop, uh, because I guess we could just relax in there for a while, or we could stay on the mantis. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way. Uh, actually, I might have thrown away the tent, but uh, we're gonna have to wait till the storm passes, regardless. So uh, also I have a wreck saddle, by the way. I went ahead and made that while we were back at base. But yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till the storm uh, passes, as because I have no idea where the Rex is right now to actually knock him out. Also, when we do knock out the Rex, we're going to let them sit there for a long time. That way we can, uh, like, go get a bunch of prime meat at once and feed it to him all at once. And that way he'll tame instantly and have a high uh, efficiency or whatever. But the thing is, too, is we have to guard him because he's going to get attacked and just lose all that efficiency almost instantly. So, Oh, we found the T-Rex again, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and equip one of these guys, the clubs. We have three clubs this time and ways to actually repair him. So we should be able to knock this guy out uh, this time for sure. I hope anyways. Uh, he should still have some of the torpor as well. Assuming it didn't take him. Okay, so we got three hits on him. We need to hit him slow. That way we don't... Oh, he should be... Oh, I think he's running away. I think he's running away. Okay. He should be close. Hopefully he doesn't fall over. Oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. Okay. So... Oh, God. Oh, God. Bug. Get out of here, bug. Okay, so let's unequip the club. And we need to make sure he doesn't get attacked. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. I wish I would have brought, like, some equipment with me to build around him that way make sure he was safe at all times hmm. hmm what do we need for thatch maybe we can make like some quick uh quick thatch walls let's see uh thatch so for thatch we need uh fiber wood and thatch okay uh well the problem with that is the wood and the thatch uh this area doesn't have that much of it so i doubt we have enough to actually build anything yeah, I guess we'll just risk it. We'll just risk it. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to keep everything away from him for a while, and then we're just going to try to tame him all at once. Hopefully it goes well. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to look at his stats. He has 11,000 torpor, 3,000 health, 1,300 stamina, uh, 700 weight, 185 uh, movement speed, or melee damage, and 100% movement speed. So pretty good. Uh, he's going to be much better once we actually level him up, though. And that's going to be the goal as well before we fight the Manticore. I'm not even sure if I'm going to bring him into the Manticore. I'm, I'm going to wait until you see what you guys say. But I feel like, I don't know, we might take him into the Manticore. It really depends on what you guys think and what you guys say. Uh, we could also try to hatch, I guess, another high-level dragon and just take that guy in. But I was thinking it would be cool since they're going to be using dragons, we might as well use maybe something on the land. Since I can't take the golem, which is the thing that I really wanted to take. Uh, actually, never mind. We can actually, these little trees right here give you stuff. So we might be able to make uh, walls surrounding him. It might not be that big of a deal. Okay, guys, we're back. So I was man I managed to able I was actually able to build the thatch thing all the way around, which is good. It doesn't actually block his tail though, so hopefully nothing hit him. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and test his uh, taming efficiency right now, and 100. percent Okay, so let's go ahead and do prime meat, and then let's uh, let's 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 transfer all of it over. Let's transfer every single little bit of it over uh, before it actually spoils. Let's see how much is left. Okay, a minute. Uh, is he going to? Oh yeah, this is perfect. Guys, this is absolutely perfect. He's going to be level 160, or, or close to 160 anyways. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Nice. This is absolutely amazing. So 40 seconds. He just needs to eat, like, two more meat in the next 40 seconds. Oh, no. He's not going to be able to, is he? 
Okay, well, looks like looks like I only need to get some meat. Uh, but I mean, I guess he can tame on normal meat after this. I mean, he's close enough already, so it should be a pretty good tame. I'm gonna go ahead and stick uh, the saddle inside of him as well. Yes. Oh yeah, and let's go ahead and check out this guy right here. Uh, where? No, 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 no. Oh guys, if, if it's 50, he's very, very close. I think he's close. Is it 50? Yes, that, yes, yes, there we go. We have a Rex, nice. Level 160 exactly. So what are your final stats? 5,000 health, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put on the saddle here. Uh, six, uh, 1,600 stamina, 920 weight, 290% uh, melee damage, and 100% movement speed. First thing we're gonna do is uh, probably that movement speed. Uh, maybe, possibly. But yeah, look, let's have uh, Sizer follow us, okay. And then let's go try to kill some stuff. Uh, I think maybe the best way to do this is kill a death worm. That's probably the best way and easiest way to get experience on this guy. What's up, man? Oh, base damage seems to be pretty good as well. Oh, yeah. Get wrecked, son. Uh, let's do some uh, some movement speed up in here. Let's get some melee damage up in here. So 125% movement speed. Oh, there's a wyvern up there. I wonder if he's going to come down and play. Probably not. He's too scared of the, the king of the jungle. Dude, the Rex absolutely wrecks everything. <laughs> the Rex just destroys life itself. Yes. Yes, baby. Oh, 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 okay. Never mind. He does want some. He does want some. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's up, man? Oh, God. Oh, what's up, man? <laughs> he definitely wants some. 100%. He, he is very angry. He wants some battling. But I, I'm pretty sure the Rex is going to be able to take this guy. Oh, God. I'm already showing signs of bleeding. Uh, this guy is, is he's too weak he's too weak to be able to take this guy on right now oh god wait no he's already bloody he's bloody he's bloody yes 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 oh my dude the turning radius on the wreck sucks so much ass eat him yes oh my god we were very close but we managed to take him out in the end how much you let's attack me okay maybe that was just fire damage oh my god he got very close to death Really? Is that? Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and get some of this. Actually, how much? Oh, yeah. Let's get some. Let's get some health up in here. Let's get like 20, 18, some melee. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking maybe like 50,000 health. Get the melee damage before I even think about like the uh, Manticore at all. Melee damage needs to be like three to 4,000. Health needs to be like 50,000. And then movement speed, I would like to get up to like 200%. So that's the goals we're going to be working towards. Uh, let me go. Let me find a death worm. Actually, man, he's so weak right now, though. Hmm. Wow, this is going to take forever. <laughs> this is going to... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Snake, what are you doing, man? Yeah, here, bro. Yeah. Well, guys, I know I said I was going to... Oh, there's another Rex. I know I said I was going to fly some Wyverns, but I'm extremely tired. I've, I'm running on, like, zero sleep right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I have no idea how long this video is. I, I think it's over 20 minutes. I'm not sure if it's quite 30 minutes yet. I apologize. Uh, but anyways, we're, this guy needs to heal up anyway, so we're just going to let him heal up. And then I think we're going to do a video dedicated to flying around the Wyverns and testing out their skills and abilities and that kind of stuff. Dude, we're fighting all kinds of Rexes now. What level was that guy? Um, and we're, yeah, we're just gonna do a separate video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I love your faces. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. What's up, man? Yeah, 52, baby. Now we find all the Rexes. I find two freaking Rexes in a, like a three hour period. And I just now find like three in a single spot. I don't know, man. The game hates me. Let's get up to 50 and then let's get some melee damage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Let's see what our damage is now. 800. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Getting up there for sure.